Dante wanders ancient ruins, a crumbled home of once fine stones, all made worse by growling dogs somewhere in the cloak of dusk. He smells or senses rot, a tear in antiquity's fabric, leaving shadowed remnants, bent shard of an archer's bow, crusted blood on a dagger, detritus of scattered bones. And then the scene, four dogs encircle a severed body, missing its private parts and more, scattered like an unsolved puzzle, hair matted with blood, crowning a tortured face, the mouth a supplicant O. Oh. Dante draws back and speaks. Why do you suffer so? I am Melanthius, the goat herd for Odysseus, who returned with his bow to wreak vengeance. Melanthius, who sought Penelope like the swine of suitors while he was away? The suitors should have won. I sneaked out and came back with shields and spears. Then Athena, damn her, appeared and sent the spears thrust wide. His son, Tele Telemachus, and two herdsmen struck with follies of lances, and Odysseus was deaf with that bow. He had reason. You betrayed him. Spare me your insults. You were not here for those years. I spare you nothing, says Dante. Trust must not rust in absence. The victim's eyes beg mercy. You and I both are victims of love. Dante steps back. I'll not rank love with lust. He stumbles through the stones, feels desolate within, for Melanthius has proved a mirror, reflecting Dante's past betrayals. When lust had led away from love, the affairs in Florence, as he tried to forget his Beatrice, he salved his soul with sex and found only empty succor. Now he flees these growls and shouts, meets the cold company of midnight, and seeks again his path.